When I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah. Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> what does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is a person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> what was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout. I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to Moo Moo's <laughs> vocal cords. Now I hear just fine, now that Moo Moo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moo Moo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. Talala, you got to slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Moo Moo? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Moo Moo wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's got to be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Moo Moo has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Moo Moo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moo Moo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great 
great idea, Talalo. That's what we'll do. Hi, Moo Moo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh. I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice. A concert. All right, Moo Moo. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moo Moo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's only air. What harm could it do? Oh. It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Moo Moo. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today, but you're not gonna beat me. I'm Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no, it's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But Moo Moo, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Moo Moo, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Moo Moo, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Moo Moo, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm 
going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more, I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but it's missing something here. For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moo Moo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp, huh? chirp. Oh. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moo Moo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moo Moo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. 